everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. This is a project that I am so excited to bring you because it's absolutely fabulous. This is a dress form and this is from Indigo Blue. It will come to you with the base, the doweling rod and the dress form and of course you'll need to assemble it. Now I like to put hats on my dress forms and so I've bought these. These are shaker pegs and they are just like this little peg and that will sit in the top of the dress form to take the hat. So we put the, the doweling rod into the base and then with a screwdriver you're going to poke a hole into the bottom of the, the dress form and that will help you then to put that over the doweling rod. To fit the shaker peg in the top you're going to do exactly the same with your screwdriver and that will take your little shaker peg. But before you assemble all this you need to paint the, the dress form and I've given it two coats of acrylic paint and then leave it to dry. So here we are, I've varnished my doweling rod and the base and the shaker peg. I've given the base, the, the dress form, two coats of acrylic paint. That now is just going to slot over the doweling rod and the hat peg is going to go in the top. And that now is ready to be decorated. Now the easy way to add the decoration to the dress form is to use an extra large tissue. Pick your favourite stamp. This again is from Indigo Blue and this is the vintage floral stamp. And I'm just going to stamp that with chipped sapphire. You're going to lay your tissue out onto your craft mat. You're going to take your favourite stamp and you're going to ink it up with your chosen colour. And then all you're going to do is just stamp onto the tissue and transfer your image. And you're going to do that three or four times or as many times as you need to get enough cover for your image and then once you've done that you're just going to cut them out and you're going to take because this is a three ply tissue you're just going to take separate the layers and you're going to use just the top layer of the tissue you can just throw the others away so now we're going to add these to the dress form now this is another product from Indigo Blue and this is called Slap It On and all you're going to do is put some of the, the product into a dish and with your brush you're just going to, well you're going to find out where you want these first of all. Um, so I think one would look very pretty across there. So I'm just going to add the Slap It On to the dress form where I want the tissue to go and then I'm going to add the tissue with the right side facing outwards on to the dress form and just press it on then take some more of your slap it on and just very gently go over the tissue and press the tissue onto the dress form very gently and then you're going to leave it to dry. So now with your next piece decide where you want that to go on your dress form and you're going to do the same process again, you're going to fill it with slap it on first, press your piece into position, recover it again with the, the product and you're going to work your way around your dress form until you have those pieces in there where you want them to go. Now depending on the size of your stamp 
will determine how many images that you need. I've cut four, but I have the other two that I've just cut now. So I'm going to go away and add these to my dress form and I'll come back to you when it's done. So there she is with all the tissue pressed onto her. Don't worry about the wrinkles because as the tissue dries, they will dry out, they will dry flat. And I'm just going to pop her on one side now and leave her to dry. Now, once you, your dress form is dry, you can then add in any embellishments that you have in your stash um, to, to make it even more um, feminine. So what I'm going to do around the bottom, I'm going to add in some of this lace. So I'm just going to glue that in place. And then I've also got a piece that I'm going to put around the neck. Now I've decided to add my bow into that little bare patch there so I'm joining the ribbon so that it will be underneath the bow and not show. Just going to add in a little rhinestone onto the knot and the last thing I'm going to do is just add in some flowers along the chest area as a little corsage for the the dress form. Now just as a little finishing touch I've cut two butterflies from the Le Papillon set with a Spellbinders and I'm going to attach one to the base and the other one is going to sit on the dress. So there we have the dress form. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make the hat that will sit with your dress form. So there we have three dress forms. The two larger ones are from a different supplier, but the front one is from Indigo Blue. And for this one, I've done a little added extra. I have made her a net underskirt and I've also made a silk top skirt. So now you can dress up your dress forms however you wish.